Care Black Box is a provider of interlining connection solutions for airlines, for OTAs, for airports, connecting passengers and baggage. And since the COVID crisis began, we've seen strong interest from many customers in finding ways to get through this, to prepare themselves to be as efficient and to generate as much revenue as possible in the new world that's going to come once all of these restrictions are lifted. So this has been an incredible strain, especially on the the aviation industry, because of its purpose in connecting people, in transporting people around the world. As those barriers have gone up, it's made it incredibly difficult for airlines to keep going, to survive in one shape or form. And what I've seen consistently over the last uh, last few months is some airlines have just hunkered down, have just gone into their bunkers and tried to survive. Others have also used this time as an opportunity to think about what the new world looks like and how they can best position themselves in that. This is going to be a situation where airline networks are going to be quite different, where passenger behaviour is going to be quite different, where airlines really need to rethink their model and rethink what makes sense and how they can best make money and indeed survive and thrive in what's going to be a very, very different environment. Over the last couple of decades, we've seen a consistent global growth in the market share of low-cost carriers whether that's Ryanair or EasyJet or Wizz Air in Europe, whether that's Goal in South America, whether that's uh, NOC or Jeju or Cebu Pacific in Asia, they have been predominantly short-haul carriers. Meanwhile, network carriers, legacy carriers, full-service carriers, the well-established airlines have typically built out hub-and-spoke-based networks, frequently with a lot of long-haul travel. COVID-19 has really had an impact, especially on long haul. So the long haul carriers, the legacy carriers have been really particularly affected by this because their long haul hub operations have been decimated. What we see is a real cutback by long haul full service network carriers of their networks. They're trimming back their short haul networks, but they're trimming back their long haul networks as well. These airlines are trying to figure out how will they maintain this network presence, how will they form appropriate partnerships in the old world that would have been co-chairs and alliance partnerships and so on. More and more, that means that network carriers are looking for ways to cooperate with low-cost carriers because the low-cost carriers have been growing, the low-cost carriers have the networks, and now the full-service carriers, the network carriers, want to find ways to join together with them. But that's not easy because these are two different worlds. Low-cost carriers grew up based on a DNA of process simplicity. Let's not have interline agreements and complicated processes for things. Let's start with a clean sheet of paper. So it's really hard to connect together these two worlds. And that effectively is what the Air Black Box solutions do. They allow network carriers and low-cost carriers to work together to sell connecting tickets to check baggage all the way through to the final destination. So they take all of this complexity and they abstract it out and they provide a simple, scalable, easy to implement solution. And for this reason, we're seeing remarkable levels of interest, both from low cost carriers and from network carriers. Some passengers have always chosen self-connecting itineraries. By self-connecting, I mean rather than booking a single ticket even a single connecting itinerary from their start to their finish point, they book perhaps two separate or even three separate tickets. They work out their own connection. They allow enough time at the airport in the middle to go from one flight to another. They check in a bag. They collect it at the airport in the middle. They check it in again. They take the risk if there's a delay to the first flight. Why do passengers do this? Obviously, because many times it's it's cheaper than booking an end-to-end ticket, sometimes because it gives them some, some schedule option that they wouldn't have had. So, This has been a a growing uh, segment of the market before COVID. Sometimes that's also called virtual interline. And this segment was perhaps 10% of all connecting passengers um, over the last couple of years and was was growing quite quite steadily. Now, post-COVID, I think this is going to grow still further. 
since airlines are going to be cutting back their networks, passengers are going to have to be a little bit more creative in terms of finding cost-effective ways of getting from A to B. We can see in Air Black Box the demand from the passenger side. We can also see the demand from the airline side to form new partnerships, to develop uh, networks with airline partners. What's unique about our solution is rather than sticking together these individual PNRs uh, in a, a very imperfect way, we have a very integrated solution which gives the airline full visibility of the passenger's whole journey. It allows them to look after customer service throughout the whole journey if they want to do so or else we can help them do that. It allows them to check the passenger's bag from the first airport to the last airport even if the passenger is traveling on, on separate PNRs. And that's a unique capability. We call this um, third generation interline. We'd see the legacy IATA interline as perhaps the first generation. We'd see these self-connecting virtual interline solutions as second generation. And what we offer, which is really synthesizing all the benefits of interline, but allowing all kinds of airlines to make use of it, we'd see that as third generation interline. <laughs> In the three weeks or so before early March, when COVID shut everything down, I was on business trips to North America, to Africa, to the Middle East, to a couple of places in Europe. Since then, I haven't even touched a plane. I've hardly even seen a plane. Um, it's been a, a real change. And I must say, I, I, I miss the way things were. And the airline industry has always been a very resilient one, but this is the biggest crisis it's ever faced. I know that it will come back. I look forward to that. I look forward to getting on a plane again, and I look forward to aviation being able to do what it does best, which is bringing people together. But I know that it's going to be a, a new world, that aviation is going to face a new set of challenges. Airlines are going to struggle in different ways to survive. But I really am looking forward to being able to work with my colleagues in this industry to help rebuild it. I wish everybody who's watching this well, stay safe and when you're able to do so again, fly safe.